At this point, you've probably had lots of practice adding and subtracting both whole numbers and fractions. But what about mixed numbers? How do we add and subtract these? We'll go through the steps using an example. Let's say we have 3 and 5 sixths minus 2 and 7 tenths. Step 1 is to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. We'll start with 3 and 5 sixths. The denominator of the improper fraction will be 6, the same as the fraction in the mixed number. To get the numerator, we take 3 times 6, which is equal to 18. Then we add the numerator of the fraction 5, to give us 23. So the numerator of our improper fraction is 23. So now we've converted the mixed number 3 and 5 6 to the improper fraction 23 6. Now we convert the other mixed number 2 and 7 tenths to an improper fraction. The denominator of our fraction is 10. To find the numerator, we go 2 times 10 equals 20. Then we add the numerator 7, which gives us 27. So the numerator of our improper fraction is 27. So now we've converted the mixed number 2 and 7 tenths to the improper fraction 27 tenths. So 3 and 5 6 minus 2 and 7 tenths has now been converted to the improper fractions 23 sixths minus 27 tenths. Step 2 in our process is to write the improper fractions so that they have the same denominator. The lowest common multiple of 6 and 10 is 30. So we need to write both of these fractions with a denominator of 30. We'll start with the fraction 23 over 6. We'll multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5. And we get 115 over 30. Now we'll take the other fraction, 27 tenths, and multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3, which gives us the fraction 81 over 30. So now we're left with 115 over 30 minus 81 over 30. Step 3 is to add or subtract the fractions that now have the same denominator. 115 over 30 minus 81 over 30 equals 34 over 30. Step 4 is to look at the fraction and see if it can be reduced to lower terms. If so, we reduce it. Notice 34 and 30 are both divisible by 2. So 34 over 30 can be reduced to lower terms by dividing 34 and 30 by 2. So we'll divide both 34 and 30 by 2, which gives us 17 over 15. Step 5 states that if we end up with an improper fraction, we must change it to a mixed number. We see that 17 over 15 is an improper fraction, so we need to convert it to a mixed number. 15 goes into 17 one time, and the remainder is 2 fifteenths. So our final answer is 1 and 2 fifteenths. To summarize this question, we were asked to subtract 2 and 7 tenths from 3 and 5 sixths. We start by converting these mixed numbers to the improper fractions 23 over 6 minus 27 over 10. Then we rewrite these fractions with the common denominator 30 to give us 115 over 30 minus 81 over 30. Subtracting 81 over 30 from 115 over 30 gives us 34 over 30, which can be reduced to 17 fifteenths. And finally, we change to the mixed number 1 and 2 fifteenths, our final answer. Here's an example for you to try. It is 6 and 1 sixth plus 4 and 5 ninths. We've listed the steps here to guide you through the process. At this point, pause the video and work through this example on your own, right to the end. Then resume the video and check your answer. First, we convert each mixed number to an improper fraction. So what is 6 and 1 6 as an improper fraction? Jot your answer down. We see it is 37 over 6. And what is 4 and 5 ninths as an improper fraction? Jot this answer down. We see it is 41 over 9. So now we have the improper fractions 37 over 6 and 41 over 9 to add up. 
However, remember when we're adding fractions, they must have the same denominator. So our job now is to write these fractions so they have the same denominator. To find the denominator to use, we need to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 9. If you work it out, you'll see that it is 18. So we need to write both of these fractions so they have a denominator of 18. We'll start with the fraction 37 over 6. In order to get a denominator of 18, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3, which gives us 111 over 18. Now we need to write the fraction 41 over 9, so it has a denominator of 18. In order to do this, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. This gives us 82 over 18. Step 3 is to add or subtract the fractions that have the same denominator. So to get our answer, we have to add up the fractions 111 over 18 and 82 over 18. Our question now is 111 over 18 plus 82 over 18. Adding these two fractions up, we get 193 over 18. For step 4, we have to check to see if our fraction can be reduced to lower terms. There are no whole numbers that can divide into both 193 and 18, so this fraction cannot be reduced to lower terms. Step 5 states that if we have an improper fraction, we must change it to a mixed number. And we see that 193 over 18 is an improper fraction, so we must change it to a mixed number. 18 goes into 193 10 times, as 18 times 10 is 180. And the remainder is 193 minus 180, which is 13. And our final answer is the mixed number 10 and 13 eighteenths. To summarize, we're asked to add the mixed numbers 6 and 1 sixth plus 4 and 5 ninths. Changing these to improper fractions, we get 37 over 6 plus 41 over 9. Writing these fractions with a common denominator gives us 111 over 18 plus 82 over 18. Adding these up, we get 193 over 18, which cannot be reduced to lower terms, but must be converted to the mixed number 10 and 13 18. It would be good for you to get lots of practice with questions like this at this point.